the game. It's a red skin. I'm not even that happy tonight because I'm just it's, it's a lot it's really a lot at this point so we back at it again with another midnight drama segment y'all I'm Jay and I'm mom uh, so we just got some oh sorry some Jay's and some brush y'all we both drinking the same thing tonight, you guys. You know, it's it's lemonade, British lemonade. Shout out to Jay's and Brits, y'all. You know, it'd um, be good if y'all, some of you people, was let us be sponsors for your product. I know it'd and be really good. We'll do even better with shouting you out. <laughs> so if you want more shout outs, Brisk, Ocean Spray, yeah, Minute Maid, Welchers. <laughs> okay, but come on. Oh, wow. Okay, well, really She's so silly. Okay, for, for real, on the on the on the real side, we got three topics tonight that we just want to touch on, and I'm gonna start with. That's just a little acidity in it. Um, I'm gonna start with the whole situation. We talked about this in another video, y'all. It's about Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. So if y'all don't know, y'all know now. Megan has finally came out and said that Tory Lanez has shot her. He the one who shot him. It's been in the, up in the air. It's been alleged all this time. It was going to take uh, um, Megan to come out to say it. Because it was either going to be her or the best friend to come out and say it because they was going to do it to God. You know? So, you know anything about it? I, I seen the video. Like, that's all I know about it is that she, she talked about it in the video. And, you know, I guess people was lying on her and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, she had to come out and say, you know, what was going on. So, Megan, kudos to you, Tori. I wish you the best. Because you've already got in trouble before, Tori. You know, like, I don't know what it's going to take for Tori to, to sit down. Go make some good music, Tori. Because you got some songs out there that's really nice. So go out there and make some more music. Because you already not from here, first of all. And second of all, you not even... I don't know. If he, can't have, he can't have a possession of a gun. So in order to be doing that, like, it's too much. We talked about that in another video. So y'all go watch that other video because... I'm probably going to put it in the description so y'all can go watch it. Because it's we talked about all of that in another video. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the other video. We don't want to do too much explaining, but we want to get to the point with it. So, Megan, you know, I hope you good, girl. You know, because that's, that's really messed up to get shot in the foot. You know, it's really messed up just to get shot, at, period. You know? Did she get shot before she did the music video or after? I'm not sure. Because if she did it before, she got shot after. She did pretty well in the music video. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think she might have, she might have, um. Maybe it was after. Nah, I don't think so. Well, it could have been. It could have yeah, been. Yeah. But it, could, it, it couldn't, I don't know. I don't know when they did the recording, so I can't really tell you. Mm -hmm. Maybe she, maybe she got shot before, maybe she got shot after. I'm not really sure. But, um. You know, I'm just going to move right along. Um, what's the second topic? Tim and his mama. And his oh, mama. my God. Y'all. I ain't even open my drink up yet. Y'all. So, if y'all don't know Tim, Tim is from Sweetie Pies, y'all. Or Miss Robbie and her family and stuff. And we talked about them in another Miss video. Robbie, so. She's, I mean, he's Miss Robbie's son, mm -hmm. but we talked about them in another video, but it was, um, dealing with Tim's baby mama, Janae, involving 
the situation that was going on between um, Janae and Miss Robbie because mm -hmm. she wouldn't allow Miss Robbie to see TJ, which is Janae and Tim's son. Mm -hmm. So if y'all want to know about that situation, I'll put that in the link in the description, you know. But, okay. Y'all, I'm going to tell it like it is. I was scrolling down my Instagram. I want to say it was last night. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it was too late for it. It was too late for it. I wasn't expecting it. She wasn't expecting it when I told her that. I had to look at it like three times to really like, be like, for real? Y'all, it's allegedly being said that Tim set his nephew Andre, Mon huh? Go ahead. Andre Montgomery, which is his brother's belated, no, not belated. His, say his deceased brother's his deceased child. His deceased brother's child. Real brother now. Yeah, re his real, real brother. Real brother. Up to get shot for his um insurance, insurance money. Y'all. Tim, Tim took an insurance policy out on the boy for how much? A hundred and some thousand or something it's, like it's that? It's over that. It was a and lot. It's, a, it's it's being said that him and some other female. Let me see that real quick so I can get the amount that, that it was. Oh, oh, I didn't know what you was asking me to do. <laughs> I'm a little off, y'all. Now I'm a little, I'm a little tired. But um, it was said that him and another female had hired some people or whatever to kill. His nephew. Yeah, Tim Norman, y'all. Tim Norman. That's his last name. For the insurance money. Yeah. Now, I'm praying. I'm really praying that that boy did not do that. Because he already know the devastation that his mom had, Miss Robbie, over losing her son. And then he saw the devastation in his mom when she lost her grandson, which is her son's son. And for him to have be have been walking alongside of her, for him to have been acting like he was consoling and he was hurt himself to only come out now and maybe be a pop. I I, I'm, I'm mad, mad y'all. I'm not mad at you. You know why? Because I'm in disbelief. I'm still in disbelief. I'm, mad. I'm really praying. I'm praying. But to say that these people have, I'm praying that he did not do that. But you know what? You know the amount. The amount was four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, y'all. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I really hope he didn't do that. that and is what he did was he money. put out a hot plot. And that's what he did. A plot on his on his nephew, his twenty one year old nephew, to get shot for his insurance money. That's what they saying allegedly. Let me just put it out like that. I really, really So it's hope. been under investigation right now, y'all. And it's kind of hard because they got evidence. Yeah. They got evidence. So let's look, let's look. About the text messages between the lady, I forgot her name. The lady in the, whoever the lady in the video is. But, I mean, oh, not yeah. in the video, but that was involved. Mm-hmm. She, she the one who did it, but she sent text messages to Tim. Letting him so, know it was done. Mm-hmm. So and the text messages. They found $90,000 or something like that mm -hmm, in a bank account for her. And then they pinged her phone. And I, you know what? This is what I don't understand about America. America, answer this question for me. In the world of technology today. Mm-hmm. Why do people do some of the most dumbest, stupid, and ignorant thing there is to do? Do you not know that our cell phones can be pinged? Get burner phones, and they Shut. still ping them. They have been watching this because I guess they got wind of it, and they wasn't for sure when it was gonna go down. But the, when the young man got killed, that woman's cell phone pinged in the area where the young man got killed at. Yeah. So. Y'all, it's crazy. This is it, it's bad. It's making it really. If he didn't do it, it's making it real hard for him not to believe that he did. I don't. I can't even begin to even imagine 
what his mother will feel to know that her son killed her other son's son. But you know what, y'all? We're going to send prayers out to Miss Robbie. We're going to send prayers out to Andre Montgomery's mama. Because I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got to say about to that. To that whole family. Because that family is a close family. Yes. That's I, going to rock that whole family's whole understanding. Whole understanding. So, I really just pray that that's not true. I really do, so. I really do. I really do. Because... It's ridiculous, y'all. It ain't no money worth that. We all need money. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it, you don't go out there and kill somebody for money. Exactly. And then it's bad enough you, you don't just go out there and kill people. You're going to kill your own people. Yeah. You're going to kill your nephew for $400,000. It ain't right. It ain't right. And dude, you sitting up here on TV making money on own. That's good. You making money. You know what I'm saying? That, no. Scratch that. You making money because your mama got you owning some of the, the businesses of the restaurants. Yes. You part owner into parts of these sweetie pies. You're making money every day, even if they didn't do nothing to own. You all got multiple restaurants. Mm -hmm. So why would you go out there and do, man, I really hope you didn't do that. Because if you did, mm, let's slow down. It's a special place for you, brother. Let's slow down. Special place. But you know what? Timothy been in jail before, y'all. That's what I'm saying. I don't get it. That you, you not too long, you know. And it kind of makes it what we, what happened with the whole Janae situation and the video that he put out. No, not that's not the whole what she did. Mm -hmm. But the video he put out talking about, you know, I, we basically stated, why would you try to set that man up like that when mm -hmm. he's already went to jail? And you know, deep down inside, if you really did it, you had that in the back of your head. Because mm -hmm. it never goes away. Mm -mm. But that's all we're going to say on that, y'all. And we're just going to wait to see what plays out with the whole situation. Because we don't know. But the last thing we're going to talk about tonight is police brutality, y'all. It's getting ridiculous. It's it's already been getting out of hand. It's already been out you of know, hand. No, it's been out of hand. Centuries ago. Right. But I've seen this video. Of this girl, and I guess it was in Georgia. It was a lot of people in the video, you guys. I'm not posting the video. Um, look it up. Look it up. Because they not going to allow us to put that on YouTube like that. This is what you Google. Girl get tased while sitting on her front porch in Georgia after arguing with a neighbor. If you type all that in there, it's going to come straight up. Now, let me give you guys a little background on this. From what has been said, because I'm going to say from what has been said, allegedly, because I don't know for sure. From what I read from somebody else's comment. Apparently, the girls that were in the video does not get along with, I guess, the neighbors across the street. Mm -hmm. And apparently the girl had got into an altercation of some sort with the neighbor across the street. Mm -hmm. Now, if you watch the video, you will see that has nothing to do with what the police came and did. Mm -hmm. The police didn't tell the girl she was being arrested. Mm -mm. The police didn't, um, didn't go follow proper protocol at all. Let's really be honest. Nope. And you know what? I think this needs to be said. And this is no harm because everybody don't do this. But let's be honest. You guys have to stop walking around here talking about that you feel that because of the color of, of, of somebody's skin is the reason why you feel like, oh, I'm in danger. You're not in danger. Let's be honest. If you, somebody is not holding a weapon that can hurt you, you're not in danger. So he sit there pulling out a taser, tases this girl. Mm -hmm. She falls into the bush while she being tased. And all you can hear is one of the girls in the background saying, dude, you finna be sued. We finna sue you. Because he had already messed up. They was already videotaping it. And the girl wasn't doing anything. Exactly. She was on her front porch. 
her porch, not the other girl's porch, her mm -hmm. porch. Her and her family sitting out there. And I mean, like, she, on, she on her property, not on anybody else's property. Mm -mm. It's ridiculous. And it's ridiculous. Regardless of whatever went down, mm -hmm. there was no justification for what he did. Mm -hmm. He now, took it too far, y'all. When he was trying to pull off the porch, and she was like, what are, you what, what, what are you doing this for? Why are you touching me? Why are you pulling on me? And then the girl mother was like, she didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. And he's trying to pull this girl while she's standing on um, behind the chair of her mom. And he pulling the girl along with the, the mother. Pulling. And then... The mama flings into him, and he like she like wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing? What are you doing? He pulls out a taser and tells her to um get on the ground, and she was like, get on the ground for what? I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. And he didn't even act. And see, this is the point. You get to the point where you can't even go investigate mm -hmm. the scene. You can't even go ask what happened. Mm -mm. You listening to one side of the story, not even asking the other person what happened. Mm -mm. It's not like they're sitting up there fighting in your presence. Right. It wasn't nothing happening. Nothing. And to make a long story short, he ended up tasing the young lady. The young lady fell backwards into some bushes and trees. And when he turned around and told her to turn over, turn over on her face, she told him, she, I can't, I can't. And he was like, well, crawl out. She said, I can't, I can't. So then next thing you know, he turns and flips her over, put both his knees in her back and her neck to turn around and put the handcuffs on her. And she's screaming, telling them, the tree that is in my leg. And then he turns around and said, well, if you hadn't never fell over in there, Excuse me. She didn't just jump over in the bush and land on it. You tased her and she fell into the bush. That's how the tree ended up in her leg. And see, this is the point. A lot of them keep doing it because they see other people getting away with it. Now, after seeing the tape, he's in, he's in trouble. Because everything he did from the time he stepped on that porch was wrong. Mm -hmm. Everything he did. And then these polices, I'm not saying all police is bad. Don't go it's there. Because that's not what I'm saying. That's not what we're saying We're specifically all. talking about this The situation. one that doing, that's doing dirty is the one who's wrong. Because Let's be honest. Now, when I talk about something, I'm just talking about one specific case. I like to Google multiple things and take a look at what I'm looking at before I start talking about what I'm talking about. Okay? Because this is happening in different areas, y'all. Different not areas. Not just in one area. Mm-mm. When a police, when a person can show you their hands and say, I don't have no weapons, and the police is, do you want to holler about I was in fear of my life? What part of the fear of your life came when nobody got nothing in mm -hmm. their hand? There's no guns being pointed at you, ain't no knives, no sticks, no, none of that. None of that. And you want to turn around and justify that the reason why you did what you did was because you was in fear of your life. Now, don't get me wrong, because I'm, 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 I'm going to be fair on both sides of the street. Mm -hmm. There are some times you need to be in fear of your exactly. life. Sometimes there, there, there are circumstances when you are in fear of your life. Mm -hmm. But the specific times that I'm talking about right now is on these females that you guys are sitting up here manhandling. It's on these females that you guys are taking. Children. An 11-year-old girl got tased because she stole potato chips and a juice. Should she have been stealing? No. No, she should not have. But that's not the way you go about she it with did. a child. She had absolutely no and right to You know another thing? Let's be honest. A child that young, they scared. So what are they going to do? They react. You cannot put a child in the same standpoint as you put an adult. Mm -mm. Because the mindset ain't the same. And then this officer is going to turn around and after, after he tased this child, he chastised the child on how he was angry that she made him tase her. Do you know how that made me feel to have to tase you? And this is what you tell an 11-year-old child that you just didn't put bolts through her body. Of course, what happened? He lost his job. 
and the stores being sued as well as the police department mm -hmm. the, the city what you see what happened to me i feel like because they said he had no right to do that no no right at all superiors came right out and said uh-uh no the same thing what happened with this man tasing this girl and that tree fell on her leg they no. they gonna sue them no it's gonna happen just like this young man i'm not just talking about women a young man driving going to his mom's house he turns going to get parts in front of his mom's house and all of a sudden the police pull up behind him sir stop where where you are he's like me yes you stop stop get on the ground get on the ground for what i, I didn't do nothing i'm just going to visit my mom sir get on the ground get on he was like ma'am i didn't do anything you 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 just had an illegal um traffic it's, to me what they doing situation. is they coming up with anything at this point so you know is that is that is this is that you that gullible to lock this somebody lady up turned around everything she did was wrong and that goes to show you that she knew she was wrong because then when her superiors came she lied and said that when she approached him, he tried to run in the house, in his mother's house. And that's when she drew her weapon. She had a weapon drew before he got to his mother's door. And the boy saying, I don't have no weapon. I have no gun. Ma'am, I am videotaping him. I don't have a weapon. I don't have a gun. His brother comes to the door. Look, younger brother screaming, what are you doing to my brother? Why are you putting a gun on my brother? Don't shoot my brother. Don't shoot my brother. She's screaming at him, get back in the house. Get back in the house. He's like, no, no, no. Please don't shoot my brother. Another police officer comes up. Didn't even know really what was going on. You know, pulls out his so. taser and tased the boy. And the boy told him before he tased him, sir, please do not tase me. I have a medical condition with my heart. Please do not tase me. He chased them anyway. The man started shaking on the ground. The boy screaming, you tased my brother. You killed my brother. You killed my brother. The, boy, the young child is going off. They turn around then, put him in handcuffs and put him in the police car. Who? The boy's brother. Are you serious? You know what? I'm sick of it. You know, I'm not going to even go on, off on, on this. Let me finish. Mom, we get 22 no. minutes. No. Afterwards. After the lady lied and said the reason why she did with the boy was one thing, she gonna go over there to the younger boy to try to talk him down and say, oh, we, we, we were just detaining you till we get the situation under control. But I want you to understand that we had to lock you in the car because... <coughs> Hold on. Is it all right? <coughs> mm-hmm. Is it all right? Because it's two of you and one of me. Oh, like the little boy was gonna do something to her. Did you, what she mean is two of you and one of me. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Backpedal. Because she lying now. It's two of you and one of me. That's a lie, lady. You got, you, it's two of y'all and two of them. So stop lying. <coughs> when the lady first, when she first pulled up, she was by herself. Right. But by the time the young man came out on a porch, <coughs> excuse me, I went down the wrong way. But Another, then they more detained police him. officers came around. Right. So that means it was more of them than it was of them. <coughs> so she's lying. I'm just saying that when it's just to see all these different situations, it's, it's just making things more and more. If you want some peace in these states and in these streets and in these cities, you got to come together. <clears throat> you can't keep on doing the same old thing and think you're going to get a different result. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's, it's crazy, y'all. So, we just wanted to touch on it, y'all, because it, it's, it's Young it's people, be careful in these streets. Mm -hmm. Ladies, be careful in the streets. Another police officer pulled a lady over. They didn't do anything. Lady asked him what's going on. <coughs> this man literally... Maybe you need to wrap it up. Flipped this way. woman and threw her to the ground. <coughs> and then what's put his knee... What's wrong with you? <coughs> tickle in my throat. <coughs> It just angers me yeah. because I'm out a lot. <clears throat> I'm a woman. I don't want that to happen to me. I have a child. I would not want to see that happening to my child. I don't want to see that happening to nobody. Mm -hmm. So young people, females, young men, be careful in these streets. That's all I got to say. Be careful in the streets. All right. <laughs> because this this foolishness it's, hasn't it's, stopped. It's getting ridiculous, y'all. It hasn't stopped. 
it's it's I don't feel like it's ever gonna stop until people are hold, held accountable. And now I'm glad that people are recording a lot because more. now it's no more the police word against theirs mm -hmm. and the police being believed and to the degree that now they're going back pulling old records of different cases previously where officers have said that things went down one way for them they to did. discover that it didn't happen the and way you they know said. what <laughs> when they have the evidence like that in order for things to change you need to take care of it and stop talking about I'm going to suspend you for a couple of days. That ain't doing mess. That's a slap on the wrist. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What they need to serve time just like you allow other people to serve time for things they didn't do. That's what needs to happen. Just like that officer who was out there beating up on all them kids at a swimming party. And turned around and, what? Uh, and, and flipped that little young teenage girl over in a bathing suit. Flipped her multiple times. Then turned around and put both his knees in her back. This girl can't be no more than about 70 pounds soaking wet. And it's you a grown ridiculous. man. And then when the people out there are trying to say, man, why you doing that? You pull your gun on two black teenage boys. They run because they think you finna shoot them. Right. And then come to find out that man had had trouble before. Like that lady that's, said. And that's the point. He was too comfortable doing that. He was too And you know what? That means it shouldn't just be the police officer get in trouble. The department needs to get in trouble. Because when you've had problems before, and why put nothing? them out there again like that? And you know you got a problem already. Tell my dog gave stupid. him suspension and some training. That didn't help, apparently. So that means you sitting here Y'all better quit playing. Challenging somebody else's house. I mean, not a house. Challenging somebody else's life to poss possibly be at risk or them to actually be dead because you decide we're going to put you back on the road again because you had a little bit of training. But you know what, y'all? If anybody feels like, well, this has been happening for a long time, um, it's, and nothing's going to change. Don't get comfortable with it, baby. Stop getting comfortable because get comfortable. you're getting comfortable. Mm -mm. That's called getting comfortable with something you should not be getting comfortable with. Because mm -mm. enough is enough. Mm. You know? All right, y'all, but... But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out of here, y'all. We don't want to mm -hmm. hold y'all up too much. But we want we want to come and talk on these three topics because, as you can see... As you all just know, that this world needs some, some serious prayer. It really so, does. people, y'all really need to start praying. Yeah. Pray for everything. Call it out. Call out in your prayers what you're praying about. Yeah. You know what I'm So, make sure you like. Subscribe. Comment. Hit that notification bell. And share all of our videos with all your friends and your families, okay? Period. Night-night, people. America. Peace.